Hello, amazing Pisces fam. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to Solvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energies, friends. So let's see what's going on. Just clearing the space for you. So this is for our Pisces sun, moon and rising energies will be the most dominant here for our Pisces group. Um, so let's check in and see what is happening. I've already shuffled. It's just, I think, a, a habit to keep to shuffle just one more time as we get started and um, get into the current energies and see what is happening. Garden and the gate, journey energy. I'm just going to look at today, Pisces, the current energies, the challenge, um, and then we'll look into the outcome and, and further clarify. Okay, guys, so current energies, we're showing the garden and the gate, journey and thinking man. I know I said that. Um, just appreciate you all being here, friends, and being able to support your journey. I hope you do get the message, assign some form of guidance that you need to hear today. This is a general and timeless read, so it may not apply to all of you. But again, we're doing our best to get you what you need. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do. And if you're not in our free membership, you can, we connect once a week. You don't need to do anything other than take some time to, to connect in, <laughs> which I'll be in your inbox. There's a first link below. This is where I send spiritual guidance, support, events that we hold and all the other cool things. So I'd love to see you there if you feel connected. First link in the description box below, dear friends. And I do have something that um, I'd like to send you as well for those that do join. So you'll hear from me. All right, guys. Um, current energy. All right. Sorry, I've got my, I'm just moving my, there we go. That's better. My microphone. I hope you can hear me. Okay. I'm getting here. There's something that you really want to go explore here, Pisces with this energy. Um, I think there's this part of you that is staying a little comfortable and you're kind of being asked, you know, it's time for a change. It's time to take that leap. Sometimes, you know, with, with any change, I think there's this part where there's that safety of knowing and, 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 and trust in taking a chance. And there's also this, this other side that, hey, I could fall off and, and totally bungle this up. But the excitement, I think, and where you're going, if you're really having this little fear-based um, space, which is understandable, you know, when, if you're wanting to take this leap in a whole new direction, uh, maybe you're looking at relocating, moving homes, going to a new workplace. Uh, I just see that things are going to light up for you as necessary, Pisces. And I think that faith is going to be key. Staying where you are, things, you know, remain the same. Um, while the grass is not necessarily greener on the other side, I think, you know, if you've worked through or feel that you've maxed out where you are, there's only one other place to go and it's to make a change. Go and try something new. Go and explore. And, you know, if this is regarding a workplace or people that, you know, friendships, a community, you, I feel like you're looking for a bit more, um, a little bit more spark. And I can see that. But for some reason, you're just, you're very in deep thought about something that you want to go after. On the bottom here, we've got the marriage energy. I don't know if that relates to you, but I mean, hey, if you've got some staleness or questioning things in a connection that you have, the grass ain't greener on the other side. I'm just letting you know there's, there can be a lot of beauty and a lot of new things and a lot of different adventure. But at the end of the day, you know, in any relationship, new relationship may, that may come, you know, that you may connect with if you're choosing to go outside that, you, you get the same things come up eventually, guys, in one way or another, okay? Um, so just be mindful of that. But what I'm saying saying here is, is that this is time to, to explore in a way that maybe it's time to change things up, okay, is what I'm getting, and time to change things up. Let's have a look at, um, let's get some clarifiers here with the kippers on what you need to know for your current situation. We'll get some clarifiers. Thank you. So clarifying mature woman. She's been showing up house and occupation. Okay. So it could be to Pisces that I think you might be getting advice of someone here or someone that you're speaking to or someone that you're looking at, at their own experiences and trying to self-reflect as well. 
Um, this could also be you wanting to make decisions from a place of, of, of having some wisdom and not rushing out or challenging that. But you've learnt this. And this sometimes what we learn is what our parents have taught us or people we've grown, that we've grown up with on sometimes the way things should be. It doesn't necessarily mean that sometimes that's the way things should be for you. And I feel there's this part of you that really wants to crack open and explore. But you're also in question here. I feel like this is some move for you that you're questioning and you're scared to kind of expand or explore on that. And I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but I don't know if this is related to the work that you're doing because that's also showing up. Um, maybe there is a full relocation potential here. Um, this could also be that this new opportunity is can give you that next step in terms of your career, in terms of your um, worth and wealth. So there's a lot of here that seems to be contemplating on bigger, grander things, which I think is awesome, Pisces, because to get there, if you're not there already and, and have these desires and goals to achieve those things for yourself, for your family, for some purpose that you have, we are really seeing here that this is, again, this is about you challenging yourself. This is not, and I know too, like I said, we learn certain things away along the way but you're trying to it's like you're trying to play it safe and thinking how you can go after something because you maybe you don't want to leave something else behind or you're worried about what other people are going to think I don't know there's something here about wanting to change things up that I'm feeling or wanting to create because occupation she's creating something here she's building something new here um, and it requires mastery to do that um, but at the same time, mastery comes when they usually say 10,000 hours. I don't know if you've heard that before, but if you're questioning whether you have the skill, you have the skill, we get better with time. And if you, it's not a skill that you're truly great at, but you're passionate about, and you're willing to do what you need to do to get, become great at it, it, it requires great practices, right? Practices getting better and better and better hitting goals and goals and goals, you know, maybe it's practicing, let's say it is about clothes or some form of design that you want to go pursue, you know, do, do or create 10 of those things. If you've done that and people are interested or people are knocking on your door for help around certain something that that's, people are coming to you for a reason because they see you have the skill set or they see that you have something that can support them. So I feel like you might be, um, not believing in yourself as much as other people do. And this might be part of the, the challenge as well that I'm showing here. So let's have a look at um, the actual challenge in regards to this situation. But like I said, I can see that you're, you're in some decision and questioning what's out there. How do you go do it? But it's like, it's like this part of you that doesn't want to get caught for some reason. And I'm not sure what that's about, but that's the energy that's coming on through. So challenge. <clears throat> okay so for some of you like I said I did see the the marriage card on the back I am getting for some of you that I feel you're not getting what you need from a certain connection or relationship here Pisces um, and if that is a constant thought on your mind it might be getting the better of you it's like you need to see certain actions you need to see certain things I think there's a part that you don't want to just hear it okay or don't want to be told that and you might be dealing with an air energy or someone who's giving you some form of advice in terms of what you also need to give because I think you might be stuck in a cycle of what you're not getting if that makes sense regarding for a situation um, so this is again perspective where we focus our thoughts and understandable and like I said the grass is not necessarily greener on the other side if we haven't healed or um, really unpacked what is going on right now with the situation. Sometimes just thinking, okay, too hard basket, throwing it in. You're going to have to learn that lesson at some point or another. Is it worth it right now? Like which, which hard do you want to deal with, right? Uh, and I feel like this is some important element here regarding the situation. But let's have a look at uh, the potential outcome here and what you need to know. And then we'll get some clarifiers on that. So we have got eight of cups, two of wands, 
This is in regards to, did I say current situation? Potential outcome, guys, is what I meant. Okay, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, one more spirit, thank you. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a lot around some form of giving, taking, receiving efforts, financial gains and stability that seem to be showing up here as an area Pisces for you. Okay. I can see here that you're really looking, you, you're seeking fulfillment in some area of your life. Okay. That you're not getting what you need where you are right now. And that's challenging the F out of you is what I see here. I think it's taken its toll a little bit on an emotional point. But I do feel a lot that this is like a bit of mental anguish for you. Because you're looking at situations of what people are showing up. How people are giving and weighing up to how it's making you feel. And you know that it's not matching how you want to feel. But you're also... You kind of, you're feeling a bit stuck here is what I'm getting because maybe you're expecting more, expecting different, and you're trying to figure out how to get that, how to pull that in. Because I can see you here making plans to go and explore something, to go and do something. Eight of Cups and the journey energy is kind of similar. Eight of Cups, I don't feel is any sadness. It, it's change, but usually it's change in an exciting way, going to explore. But with any change, you are leaving things behind. So sometimes there's grief, there can be concern, there can be fear, there can be worry. But I'm seeing that it's just, it's it's time to, to shift things up a bit, Pisces, is what I'm getting. Because this is about coming back to plans, not procrastinating anymore, really having set some goals and vision for your life or for what things matter for you and create that fresh start and fresh beginning. Maybe a key part here is too, is that You've been trying to call in or pray in for some gift or something to show up just to give you the path, to give you the journey, to give you the sign. Um, and we're seeing this strong sense, Pisces, Nine of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles showing up here with something that's coming and presenting itself for some strong, fresh beginning that's around creating your stability, that's around creating your successes in life that also feed and nurture you like you need to know. It's kind of like that sign from the universe that sometimes we need that to know we're on the right path. And I feel there's certain things that you need in your life to know you're on the right path too. And you're getting these signs because with this opportunity presenting itself, it's going to put you in a very strong position, I feel financially. And I feel with that freedom of being you uh, and doing what you need to do that you love. So we can, we can start seeing the change shifting. Okay. Either which way. Um, and as you move through this, I do feel that you're very skilled Pisces in whatever it is that you're doing. You might find that as part of this too. Maybe there's these things, these people coming towards you, Pisces, like I said, with this occupation, maybe you're trying to shift things up a bit and you're questioning whether you have everything you need to really go after this or make this as big as you want to do. Um, but Maybe you do need to learn a few more things and there's nothing wrong with that because I feel in life we're always growing, we're always learning. If we're not, we're staying where we are and we're staying at sometimes, you know, I don't know, maybe some people are satisfied there, but I think sometimes we're showing up all the time for something, but we're not actually creating that change. Sometimes, you know, we're talking about this, like people go to church, but they're not spiritually growing. They're just going, maybe that's because of what they've been taught or how they feel that, well, if I go here, I feel good. Yeah, you might feel good for that hour, but after you feel good, what then are you doing? Are you just staying the same? Just because you show up somewhere doesn't mean that you're gaining value from it if you're not doing anything with that time, doing anything with that energy. And I feel here you're just being asked that you're going to potentially have to learn a little bit more expand a little bit more and even potentially work a little bit harder than maybe that you want to maybe more time and effort's going to be required for this something because when I think that's a key part to success and growth is that sometimes we're in the waiting and then the waiting and then the waiting and then it presents itself and then the gear switches on and it's like you've got to go because this is not a time to dabble now people are invested in you you got to show up as well, right? But people are looking at you because you're the one that has what they have. Like there's something here that you're doing, Pisces. Career-wise, I do feel very strongly career-wise that you're looking at doing or this part of your own independence purpose goal that you have. Whatever this is about, 
because you're the one here that has the magic, that has the talents, that has the skills, that makes things happen, makes things grow, makes things feel alive. You know how to nurture it. You know how to take care of it. Um, and you know how to, it's like you've got the moves. You know you've got the right moves. Uh, and I just feel like this is going to take more energy to keep this going, to keep this um, being supported. And you probably find that you're going to back and f back and forth with this nine of pentacles and eight of pentacles energy, okay, which is, Hard work, hard work, hard work, reward, reward, learn, learn, reward, re reward, hard work, hard work. And it's kind of going to go in that cycle a bit. But I feel that this is really amazing energy for you because look at the growth that's coming from this. The place that you want to go, the thing that you want to create, but it requires hard work. It's not just something that shows up and you don't have to do anything. Unless, unless you've come from a massive wealthy family, you can spend it all. But if you're not investing it, you don't know what to do with it. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Okay. So let's um, get a few more clarifiers on what else we need to know here. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. We've got the Queen of Wands showing up with the challenge here and the Eight of Cups. I'm just going to pull, hang on, let's... one second. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't have my usual setup, so I've got plug-in earphones and I don't, as my microphone. Okay. Um... I'm just going to get all these out to clarify and we'll go from here, Pisces. All right. So we can definitely see here there's something that that when you pay attention to when that you think about Pisces, we can see the energy in it. Um, that's the Queen of Wands energy showing up. So I don't know who you're leaning into or where you're getting support from with this King of Swords energy, but what I do feel, whoever you're talking to or trying to understand here, this could be a mentor, this could be a, a partner, spouse. I'm not getting like a father figure or anything. I'm just getting someone who's got a bit of some pretty good advice, I feel. But whenever you guys are talking about something, I think it's it's lighting you up. There's something that engages you here, okay? But a part of that is... You know, sometimes when we talk to someone that gets us excited about a situation is that we lean a bit more into that um, and not realizing this is just the message that's coming through that if you're giving attention to this energy here, whoever this is or what this person represents in your life, um, sometimes that excitement deviates you from other things in your life okay and you may be looking at it going well this is so much opportunity look at this wow wow I'm so excited I want to be a part of this I want to do this and you like maybe it's shining some light that you're not happy where you are and what you're doing and sometimes we do convince ourselves that okay so just be careful and I'm just getting like because this energy is showing up here, there's someone that something or some situation that you're feeling energetically, you're, you're not getting what you need. Someone's not showing up for you the way that you need. And I feel like this energy here might be a little bit of a helpful energy, but at the same time, it might just be feeding you energy that's filling a void that you're not really paying attention to that needs your own support here, not someone else to fill it, if that makes sense. Because I am seeing you looking and making plans. You've got the three of wands in terms of making shit happen. And then you've got the two of wands um, in terms of uh, the potential outcome. So I'm either seeing procrastination or you're just really stuck in this planning phase. Okay. And how do we shift you from this plan phase to going to do something? And I think this is really key. So I'm just getting a little bit of procrastination here from someone in your energy space. Again, could be you, could be vice versa, as in the person that you're dealing with. And I'm just going to get just a slight frustration for something or a situation. Like I said, I just feel that in the challenge position here, but what I like, what I really, really like Pisces is that there's this part of you, like I said, you're calling in something here. You've been asking for something to show up. You're, you've been, you're, you're ready to really receive from a lot that you give. Okay. And I feel like if that's something you've been asking for, I feel this gift is showing up. I don't know, you know, if this is actual monetary gift, if this is the energy from someone showing up that you've been asking, um, another job, another opportunity, that dream home, 
the money that you need to do those things that you need, but I feel it's showing up. Okay. I really, really do with this ace of wands energy showing up with the devil energy and the nine of pentacles. I think there's this part too of being so independent Pisces that, um, when I connect into this challenge energy with this ace of wands, that when we can be so independent, there's a balance between independent and interdependency. And I feel like it's really important for something here not to be too carried away with that independence and just going after it because it can turn into a bit too much of ego driven uh, way of living, which is not thinking about other people in the mix that and you might miss the boat here, I feel, for someone that matters to you. And this could be a vice versa energy, okay? So if you, Pisces, are feeling you're not getting something out of a connection, it could be this person is just carried away in their own shit and really not seeing the picture for what it is, right? Um, but I can see something here about this exciting start, about this exciting opportunity, and maybe that's what someone's getting carried away here. Um, or maybe that's what you start doing to get out of worrying about this energy anymore. So take what resonates. But what I do like is as you move through this with this King of Cups energy, you figure it out, Pisces, on an emotional level, on a mental level, that no matter what's going on, that you can take care of you, that you know how to support yourself and nurture yourself. But I feel like there might be a little... Um, a little space or a little bit of a... The way I'm seeing it is kind of like a zigzag energy um, of like this back and forth energy of understanding this. I think you might go in bits and pieces of, of a bit insecure in terms of where you stand in situations and then you get your confidence and then something happens and then you get a bit insecure again and then you get your confidence back. And I feel like this is the energy that could be happening and then whoever this king of swords energy shows up makes you feel good again, makes you feel excited again because you're in question about something, right? You're in question about what's next for you. This excitement that, you, that you're seeking, you're not getting where you are. So how do you fulfill that? And someone's got, got your attention or you've got someone's attention and it's being fed right now, okay? So just be mindful of that. But at, at the end of the day, I see that this is good movement forward, Pisces. This is really good energy for you, but you're getting to the place of this learning up and down energy to grabbing hold of it, even when times are challenging and really nurturing yourself and putting effort into things that make you feel good, where you feel supported, that you're adding value. It's kind of like you also need that, that you can see you're making a difference. And I really see that happening here for you. Sending a whole bunch of love and support. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye now.